Hello guys, welcome <laughs> to a brand new YouTube video. It's been a minute. Ain't really leave, but I'm back. Yeah, it's been a minute. A lot of stuff has been happening on the internet and behind the scenes, but we're back. I took some time, not off, but just like I got super busy. I just haven't had a chance to vlog very often. It's been a long week, or a long couple of weeks of just hitting big lifts. So my squat has been going crazy. I got this new block. This new block, I could just tell with the way that it's it's kind of like built. That squat is probably going to be going a little bit more crazy than deadlift. Oh, it's my life I has to fight, nigga. Let's go! Let's go! Lock that shit in! Delph might take a seat because the last block. Delph was definitely like the superstar. I remember I hit 725 to so open up the first week of the block and that already let me know. I'm like, oh yeah, squat's probably gonna go dumb. Then I hit 745, which is this past Tuesday. Once again, move super fast. This is just enough more confirmation that this particular block is gonna be a little bit different for squat. Deadlift hasn't been bad, but I just know that deadlift's gonna take a little bit back seat as squat tends some grass. So I'm very excited to see where we're gonna be able to squat. I need a real thick bitch from the south. So we're here at Johnny Day. Huh? Oh, <laughs> you scared me for a second. I was like, so we're here at Johnny Dang. Um, yes, sir. Vlogging, getting some uh, some more girls. Um, Cranon is here. I'm getting one too. Yeah. yeah. Get a little piece. I want to really get that better piece kind of put together, kind of like what I mentioned before. Got the boy Lambo taking care of us. Yes, sir. <laughs> get these through, girls in. Through. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm like, how, how do you have, I looked at it and I'm like, how do you almost have I could, I could, I think I could get blue check on Instagram if I want, but I just can't open I'm just gonna push it up. So I, I like it a lot. What do you do? Do you do, you don't do the dances? How's it feel? Oh, you can't talk, my bad. <laughs> I was like, damn, like, we're gonna get this taken care of. I gotta go train. So, I have some people in town that I wanted to go eat, kind of like dinner with. Not dinner, but like a post workout meal with. But we'll see. I'm just looking at like when we'll be able to get to the gym. It's already like 3.40 right now, but yeah, I'm excited. I just really want to get this piece together. Lambo was telling me he's gonna, you know, kind of get us suited out, dripped yes, out for, uh, for nationals and shit. He was basically saying like he wants to have us dripped out lifting weights and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so that'd be dope. New PRs, bro. I'll <laughs> we'll get back to you guys whenever it's time to train. All right. Splat. Pull up in the cat. All right, y'all. So we got the fit on. Honestly, I wasn't feeling it when I picked it out. It was super random, but this mirror makes me look insane. So we got the uh, shadow backboards. We got the GBT tank. And then, huh? Everybody. <laughs> When you first started recording, everybody would get quiet and you're like, y'all could talk. Like, yeah, like, yeah. You'd be dead quiet and you're just talking and you're like, I hate this. It's yeah. Like, Everyone gets so like, awkward whenever I start recording. I'm like, it's fine. Yeah. Anyways, we got the fit on. We got the GBT saying with uh, these shorts. I actually never wore these shorts. I had to take the tag off. <laughs> That's pretty wild to say for my company, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just never got it. I never got it. Bro, you know how much? No, it's crazy. There's so many clothes that I don't have an opportunity to wear because it's so much. I just pick my favorite ones and I never wear them. Like, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, no, yesterday, that fit that I had on, I've never worn that shirt before. I had to take it out the package. These are sample shorts. Yeah, they're old, yeah. My first time wearing them. But anyways, uh, we're about to work out. I always say we, but it's really just me. Y'all just watching. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, but to be honest, I only took this camera out because I wanted to get Vic and Paul's predictions for this weekend, because for those of you guys that don't know, I'm a huge fan of the UFC. Always have been since 20, 
I am. <laughs> I, no, I, no, I did. Well, I didn't, but I didn't know it was coming so soon. But I've been a huge fan of the UFC since like 20, 2008, like back when they had like Chuck Liddell, uh, Rampage Jackson, all that kind of stuff. So, okay, Paul. Usman. 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 I, don't or, even, okay. I don't want to say his name. <laughs> okay. I don't like him. Paul has Usman and then? I got Usman. Okay, cool. Honestly, if they had anyone else, that would have been a problem. Because Usman. <laughs> Usman's Nigerian. You're good. Um, Usman's Nigerian. I need him to win to reclaim the glory that we have lost with Izzy and Usman both losing. Dude. And then what's his name stepped out? Uh, well, he's from Cameroon, but Nganu left. Yeah, Nganu you know, left. It's like, we just need more African pride, man. We got Tim's out here winning. We got Wiz Kid out here winning. We got Remo winning, and we need uh, we need Usman back on top. But nonetheless, oh today's workout is going to be pretty fast. We have a 4x4 four four on bench, and then after that, we have some volume for bodybuilding. And then we're going to go with the homies to go eat, and that's it. I kind of like logged out because I just thought about it. I'm like, I want to see Dewey. But, um, okay. Let's get this working. Look at Weez. Weez is fucking pissed. Oh, what's up, bro? Damn, bro, I thought I'm going to get jumped. Nah, you good, bro. Just relax. I got like one more set. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Don't beat me up, bro. All right, so it's time to train. Um, I'll be transparent with you guys. I feel like there's been a lot of uh, conversation and talk happening the last couple of weeks. And it turned into something it didn't have to turn into. But one thing that I've kind of taken away from this whole experience, I have been feeling so motivated to train inside of the gym now. Like, you guys have no idea. Sometimes powerlifting can become very boring because, it, like, what you have to do is very formulated. And it's the same stuff that you have to do every single time, uh, every single time you step inside of the gym. Every day is just another day where you have to go and stack the chips a little bit. And sometimes it can get kind of boring. But with like all the trash talk that's been happening behind the scenes and the conversations that are being had, I've never been more motivated to just like be great. And uh, I'm always gonna be disciplined. I'm always gonna come inside of the gym and do what I need to do. But there's that extra added oomph when you come inside of the session knowing that you're trying to prove a point. And it just hits so much different. And through the negativity, through all the bullshit, through all like the, the, the conversations, there's the fact that I just love training and I love finding reasons to come inside and work out. And uh, I'm very just excited for this next week coming up in September because a lot of a lot of great things are gonna happen, and I'm excited to put my best foot forward. So with that being said, let's fucking work. Um, I didn't feel motivated to come inside the gym today to train. But now I'm like a little bit more mad and pissed off, just given like thinking about everything that's been happening. I'm like, oh, we're about to fuck some shit up. So um, this song was a lot longer than it had to be. Let's go ahead and start training. The nerve! You rebuke me for working with someone else on a couple of V's. What do you really think of the nigga that's happy? Well, it's the same thing. Pull up in. To do what you couldn't do. Man, I'm that. And as soon as I'm back in the... I might get a key to the city and give it to Wayne. Or give it to Wayne. Turn when table started at the nigga at first. Exciting times. Revitalize. Trust this little light of mine. It's gonna shine positive. I didn't listen to Hope on that old song when he told me pay no mind. I get more satisfaction out of going at your head and seeing all of you die. Got some game, little boy, that love me in the street I'm not trying to find nobody else to be Go, come live all your dreams out at OVO We gon' make sure you get Let's your Let's take it here, man, cause like, the other day The other day I got called Ice Spice You thought I was killing you? No That nigga a munch I'll attach the TikTok that I made Everybody was trying to be like, oh, see a one hit wonder, da 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 But it's like, now what? Two hit wonder? Like, the fuck? I just, I need like a hundred. You think I look like anything like Ice Spice? Bro, hell no. <laughs> like what? I, so I asked the question and, and like people started saying I kind of look like Ice Spice. Someone said that on my... Everyone said, <laughs> what? I called you a baby kid. And someone said I look like Ice Spice? No, I look Uzi. Yeah, no, they said that. They said that on your video, yeah. actually. Yeah, that was her video. But then like they said I look like Ice Spice for real. Yeah, he had the whole group chat. He's like, guys, do I look like Ice Spice? I'm being serious right now. <laughs> Like, I no, I just need a real life like, answers. You know what I'm saying? I was like, Russ, do you think you look like Ice Spice? <laughs> and then Russ was like, man, I don't even know anymore. He's like sitting contemplating it for hours. I was. I had me fucked up a little bit. I don't know, man. You got Ice Spice? No. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't look like her. I don't know. They said like we could be related or some shit. That's. You know, Ice Spice is actually Nigerian, I think. No way. She has Nigerian in her, yeah. She looks Nigerian.
Alright, what's up guys? Uh, welcome to day number two. Uh, I'm not even lying to you. I came inside the gym with like a mood and a purpose. And uh, just kind of given everything that's kind of happened over the last like week or so. Uh, just like the, like I said earlier in the video. Uh, it just caused me to kind of come in on an emotional trip. And then I hit like an all-time PR on squat. 675 pounds for six reps. Like seven plates, six reps. Obvious overshoot, I'm not even tripping over that, but today was like a session where like I just came in pissed off and I valued my emotional, I valued the emotional um, power that came with hitting this PR over my programming. And I understand that I, I overshot and everything like that, but I'm super satisfied with being able to lock in and just come in with like pure anger and rage and just hit that set. That's not something that I can like, I can donor coach or like, or, or would like encourage for people to emulate, but certain instances call for you to just come in and rip some shit. Good energy, uh, good energy today. People that I'm seeing that I don't really see very often, and just like we in a different like realm of circumstance that we haven't been in before. And I have huge goals for this year, and I have an idea and concept as to how I want it to go. And sessions like this, I think, are necessary. So it's cool to have this session. I uh, once again huge PR, super, ha uh, super happy and satisfied with that. So let's go ahead and commence the rest of this workout. Uh, we're gonna be doing some upper body. I did upper body yesterday, uh, so we're gonna catch up on that. You look malnourished, get some bread. 